Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to read an article. And it's from TMZ. Give me a second. Just take me a second to load it up. Okay. And it's called Blue Face. Child Services called over video with strippers and son. Slash son. This is the menace I'm going to be talking about in question. This nutcase. But okay, blue face videos showing his son, his young son, hanging around exotic dancers at home are getting a lot of attention, as they should, including from cops and the Department of Children and Family, Family Services. Law enforcement tells TMZ sheriff's deputies have been called Called to the rapper's Los Angeles area home a whooping nine times since May. That's a lot of times to have CB CPS called on you within four months. That's a lot, three to four months. That's a lot of times. With the most serious call for a DCFX or FS investigation into. Blueface bringing strippers around his kids. After Blueface posts footage of him asking his son if he was gay while women stripped in a nearby room, we're told DCFS got wind of the video and launched an investigation. Good. Which led to the sheriff's deputies being called to the home. We're told Blueface still has his son. And it sounds like the DCFS investigation hasn't moved forward. In part because no one answered the door or picked up the phone when deputies were called to the house. Law enforcement tells us other calls to the house include noise complaints for loud music and barking dogs. So cops frequent Blueface, Blueface's place a lot. But the stripper videos with his son are the most concerning. Over at Blueface Party House in the San Fernando Valley, we're told cops have been there multiple times about parties and fights with Blueface neighbors making the complaints. Or with Blue's neighbors making the complaints. As for Blueface's alarming videos with his kids, the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services won't comment on specific cases, but tells TMZ the safety and well-being of the county's 2 million children and youth is its highest priority. Okay, and that's the end of the article. Yeah, Blueface to me, he's a nutcase. He's a lunatic. He's a sociopath. He he needs them kids taken away from him. He is not suitable to be a father. He's not. That's somebody, in my opinion, that should have never been a dad. I'm sorry if I have to say it. He's a bad dad. He's not a good parent. Because if he was such a good parent, why is CPS being called over to your house nine times? Since March or since May, that was like three, four months ago. That's over three months ago, about four months ago. That's too many times for CPS to be coming to your house. And then this time, the, did nobody answer the door when they came this time? I think CPS should go back there. I think they will. If they do, they might go back there with the police. And they should. I feel like Blueface need to lose them kids. Seriously. Because my I'm concerned for the kids and their well-being. And he is not suitable to be a parent. He's not suitable to be their father. Not at all. And Jaden Alexis, I question her mother. Or I question her parenting too. Because she would Blueface. And he called himself making... Making um, her a star, trying to help her become a star, 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like the blind leading the blind. Because Blue Cheese, I'm going to call him Blue Cheese. Blue Cheese don't need to be having custody of them kids. Not at all. So please, CPS, take them kids. Put them in foster care. Or find somebody, you know, a family, a relative or a family member that can take care of them kids. Because Blueface ain't doing a good job at all. Not at all. And then his mother, Car uh, Car Carlisha. I wouldn't give the kids to her either because, like I said, she's a weirdo. She, I can see why, um, where Blue Cheese get his um, stupidity from. Because I'm sorry, but she's, she's just not a good, suitable parent for them kids either. Or a guardian to them kids either. Because she got online and talked about, no, before I go to her... I'm going to say blue face them videos with that with his son and them strippers. Even though them strippers were in a separate room. They weren't in the same room as the children. Blue, blue cheese still should not have brought, brought them kids. Or not kids but brought them strippers to that house. Them strippers had no damn business being in the house with them kids. You know and then blue and then. The six-year-old boy was looking for food to eat in the pantry. And there was no food there. It's like, Blueface, how you going to have your kids with you at your house with no food there but for them to get or have access to, but you rather have strippers in the house? I, yeah, that's poor parenting right there. You should have went. You should have waited till Jaden had your kids. And then also... If you wanted to have fun with your friends and with strippers, you could have went to the strip club. You should have went to the strip club to have fun with those strippers. Not bring them back to the house around your children. Even though the, his mama got online and said, well, the, the kids wasn't exposed to the strippers. But still, they still was in the same house with them strippers. So it don't make it no better. And like like I said, Blueface Mama, she just I think the reason why she get online and say the stupid stuff that she ignorant stuff that she say is because she want clout. She want attention. She using Blueface to get attention. And that's sad when you have to when you have to use your kids for exposure for clout. And that's what I think she doing. Because if she was really concerned, she would be trying to not only fix her relationship with Blueface and try to be on good terms with him, but also try to be more of a concerning grandmother and try to see if she could get custody of them kids. Because Jaden and Blueface, they're not suitable to be parents to them kids. I'm sorry. They lifestyle, uh-uh. Them kids don't need to be exposed to that. And then you get you throwing parties and having fights at the parties and all this different stuff. No, you can't have all that around your children. And then the mama, like I said, Carlisha, she ain't no better. She no better. I wouldn't want my kids with her either. Maybe foster care or somebody or another relative might be a better place for them kids. Cause I feel bad for them to have blue cheese and Jaden. As parents, I'm sorry if I have to say it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just being honest. But then talk about, you know, Blueface is mad at Krishan because Krishan didn't invite him to be there in the delivery room when she delivered their baby. You know, she had her closest friends and family there when she gave birth to their baby, Krishan Jr. And I don't blame her for blaming or for naming the son that. Ain't nothing wrong with that name. You know, and I think when Krishan was with Blueface, while she was pregnant and all, I think she started to see the light. Started to see that Blueface was treating her differently. He wanted her to get rid of that baby. He did not want that baby at all. He didn't care about that baby. He didn't. But I'm glad Krishan had this baby because she get to see Blueface or shall I say Blue Cheese for who he really is. 
he she, she can see his true colors because yeah he been getting on Twitter like a man child being immature cri criticizing Krishan about having a baby in Baltimore you know criticizing her talking about her as a as a woman and as a parent you know uh, what else was he doing he been tormenting her like torturing her online. Talking about her so bad to the point. Till he wants her to snap out. He wants her to spaz out. So he can give himself a reason to take that child from her. Excuse me. Because he threatened to take um, Krishan Jr. away from Krishan. And I'm like you ain't did. According to Krishan. You ain't did nothing for that baby. And she said, you know, she didn't want him in the delivery room. She said that he should have been there anyway. But she knew he was going to be on some BS. That's why she didn't invite him. But she he, she said that he should that he should have been there. And maybe he could have, you know, showed some concern or something like that. Maybe that's why she said that. But overall, he was not there. He didn't care about that baby being born. Now all of a sudden you getting online threatening to take that baby away from Krishan. Acting like you so concerned about that baby. Boy, you ain't concerned about that baby. And ain't no judge in their right mind going to give you custody of a child over Krishan. Please, not a CPS coming to your house in L.A. nine times. To question your parenting towards the two children that you got with Jay Nalessis. Why would a judge give you custody of Krishan's baby? Boy, sit your ass down somewhere. Ain't nobody going to give you custody of that child. You don't need to have custody of any children. You you know you you you're a bad you're not a good parent. I'm I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to tell you that you're not that good of a parent in my book. You need therapy. You need professional help. That's what you need. And you so mad. Like I said. You so mad and upset with Krishan. For having that baby. And not bringing. And probably not bringing that baby out to LA. To see you. If you want to be a part of that child's life. You go to Baltimore. And you see that child. But before you do. You need to get help. You need to get yourself together. Seriously, and I feel like if the CPS takes them kids away from um, Blue Cheese, then maybe that'll be something that he needs to straighten up and get his act together. Because, like I said, his I mean, he not fit to be no parent. He just not. He neglect. He's he neglected his kids to entertain some strippers. No, uh-uh. No, I wouldn't give custody of, of anybody's child to him. Not at all. And then, you know, he came out. And then he, um, Krishan said that on Crazy, when her and Blueface did season one of Crazy in Love, and I think filming season two of that, she was giving him her money. He was like a pimp to her. He was controlling her and her money. Trying to make her a star. And it's like, Krishan, girl, you was dumb. I'm sorry. I, I, I just feel like you was dumb for letting him control your money like that, girl. You was foolish for that. You, you, I would never let somebody that I'm not married to or that's not my manager, that's not helping me get opportunities or in charge of my career, I wouldn't be letting nobody... That's a co-worker because that's basically what he was. I wouldn't let nobody control my money. I wouldn't give him my checks. That was dumb. I feel like that was a huge mistake letting her doing that. But, I'm, but I don't think she's going to do that anymore. I don't think she's going to let him have any more of her money. That's good. Because Krishan, let me tell you. You do not need to ever go back to Blueface ever again. Because he is showing you his true colors, girl. Now is the time to wake up and smell the coffee and realize that this dude, he didn't want you to have that baby. He not the type of man that you need in your life. 
And I'm and she didn't even put his name on the birth certificate. So I'm like, good job, Krishan. You did a good job when it came to that. Cause blue blue face to me is a scumbag. He's a loser. He nah. Krishan, this situation right here should should make you understand that this man ain't right for you. Period. All the only thing he's good for is for his dick. Other than that, he ain't good for nothing else. He don't mean you and he don't mean himself no good. So do not ever get back into a relationship with him. And do not share custody with him. If he, he want to see his child, let him have um, supervised visits. He got to be supervised. He couldn't be alone with my child. Not at all. Like I said, get full custody of that child. And, ha and if you give them visitation rights, okay, but they're going to have to be supervised. Because I wouldn't leave him alone with my child. Because he embarrassed his son twice on the internet. Asking him if, he get, if he's gay and all that. And his son don't even know what that means. Didn't even know what that meant. He was just trying to be a kid. And meanwhile, you got your daddy embarrassing you online like that. Making him uncomfortable. It's like, no. He He's, no. And Jay Nalesis, I wouldn't want my son near her, my child near her either. Because y'all don't like each other and y'all don't get along. And Carlisha, the grand, or blue face mama, Carlisha, whatever her name is, I wouldn't want that nutcase, that heifer, near my child either. She, she, um, a, she, um, a looney tune, if you, if you ask me. She she um she kind of got some loose screws in her head. You know she's a goof troop. I wouldn't want her near my child either, unless um somebody was there to supervise her too. Cause them are two people I wouldn't trust. Um, Blueface, I wouldn't trust the mama. I wouldn't trust Jaden around my son. I wouldn't trust none of them. Get if you need help. Um, somebody to babysit your child, get you a nanny, or let your close, or let somebody in your family help you um, with your child by babysitting your child or watching out for your child. That's what you do. Don't depend on them three losers. Cause, mm -mm, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't depend on them. Cause, like I said, Krishan, I just hope that you see the, that. Is so far you doing a good job seeing the light. And, you know, keeping your son by you. Not letting Blueface have an influence over what over your parenting and your decision making. You know, it's time for you. I'm glad that you seem like you broke away from him. And you got from underneath his spell. And if I'm right, stay away from him. Period. He ain't worth it. You, you deserve better and you can do so much better than him, baby girl. Seriously, you got a bright future ahead of you. You don't need that. You don't need that punk ass bitch. You don't need him at all. Because he don't respect you. He don't care for you. He don't love you. He showed you that plenty of times. So like I said, focus on your, yourself, your child, and your career. And as far as blue cheese is concerned... He he only the the only the thing about him the only song he had out was Tatiana whatever it's called and that was with Cardi B that song ain't charting on the Billboard charts I don't hear it on the radio I don't even think this clown got an album out so like I said uh uh he need to focus more on being a better a better man getting therapy. He need to be, become a better version of himself and work on becoming a better role model for his kids and setting a better example. And also, before you be trying to make somebody else a star or manage somebody else, you need to make your own, you need to make yourself and make your career. That's what you need to do. You need to make sure you're self made because you can't make Krishan. And you can't make Jaden Alexis no star. 
you can't make nobody nothing because you got to make yourself a star or make yourself first because you're not self-made. You're far from it. So like I said, you need to get your shit together and get your Mahai in the studio and work on some more music. Put out an actual hit. Put out a song that we can hear on the radio. Put a song that we can um that can be on the billboard charts or something. Because Cardi B, her being a feature on that song that you put out, that whack ass song that you put out, she couldn't even save your career. She couldn't even save that song. She couldn't even her good as a rapper that she was, she didn't have enough talent along with her to um have that song become a hit song. That song is trash and it's a mess, just like you. That's why it's not on the radio. That's not that's why it's not on the billboard charts. So like I said, Blueface, you're a pussy cat. You're a bussy cat. You need to get over Krishan. You need to leave her alone and work on being a better man. But yeah, like I said, CPS, come get the kids. Take them away from him. Maybe that'll be something that he needs to grow up. Stop acting like a man child and work on becoming a better person. And making some changes because he needs to change his ways and he needs to do better. Do better, man. Stop harassing Krishan online and, be, and do better. Be a better person. Work on that. But until then, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Thanks for watching and you all have a good evening. Peace.